The Green Cross Code was first issued in 1971 and whilst the principles of stop, look and listen remain true to this day, it's important to consider road safety in a modern context. Let's face it, our roads look a little different now than from 1971. But it's not just cars that our children need to be aware of. They need to know to behave and concentrate on their surroundings at all times in crossing the road, because not doing this could prove to be fatal. Worryingly, research undertaken by Admiral discovered one in 10 of our children cross the roads whilst talking on their mobile phones, texting, or listening to their iPods. One of the greatest dangers that children face is when they're out and about on our road. And in 2009, 81 children lost their lives on our road and of those, 37 were child pedestrians. So that means more than a whole class of school children were killed in just one single year. And if that's not bad enough, nearly 8,000 were injured as well. The old sayings really are the best. So make sure your children understand that when crossing the road, they need to stop, look and listen. That includes talking to friends, mucking about and running across the road. It really is a matter of life and death and not worth taking the risk. So, the best steps to take before crossing the road are Find a safe spot, ideally at a designated crossing. Stop! Just before you get to the curb, do not get too close to the traffic. Make sure that all mobile phones and gadgets are put away and that earphones have been removed. Look all around for traffic. Remember, traffic could come from any direction. And listen. Sometimes you can hear traffic before you can see it. Nothing you're doing at that time is more important than crossing the road safely.